Good afternoon. It is so great to be here today with a room full of people who are focused on creating opportunity across America. On behalf of Walmart and our 1.2 million U.S. associates, thank you for leading in this important area. We are honored to participate. I know that we all agree that opportunity is what our country needs right now. Jobs and a better life for everyone, a chance to pursue the American dream. We believe that as the largest private employer in the U.S., we have a responsibility to lead in creating opportunity. And it may surprise you to know that Walmart has always been a place of opportunity, a place where entry-level retail jobs can lead to career. Take my boss, Greg Foran, the CEO of our U.S. business, and his boss, Doug McMillan, our global CEO. Both started in entry-level retail jobs, and their stories are not unusual. Over 75% of our store management team started as hourly associates. One example is Paul Hill. Paul worked for the airlines while caring for his aging parents and younger siblings. He quit his job when his parents passed away, and a friend suggested that he apply for a job with us. He started out part-time in our electronics department, and then he got promoted again and again. In four years, he's risen to store manager, managing hundreds of associates and a $100 million business, and it's a job that pays in the six figures. That is the American dream. Another person who found opportunity at Walmart is Lakeisha Garcia. She worked for the government and served in the National Guard. Then she took an hourly job with us just to make some extra money, never really envisioning a career with Walmart. She was promoted to supervisor within six months and has now been with us for 12 years. Like Paul, she's now a store manager. We are so proud to have veterans like Lakeisha on our team. We've hired more than 80,000 of them since we launched our Veterans Welcome Home Commitment nearly two years ago. Lakeisha says, the biggest reason I have stayed at Walmart is because this organization embodies the American dream. With hard work and dedication, the sky is the limit to what I can achieve. Paul and Lakeisha are here with us today. Would you both please stand? Thank you both for inspiring us with your success. We are proud of our jobs and of the opportunities that come with them, but frankly, we felt we could do better. As we've grown over the years, we've made some changes aimed at making us more productive, but some of these changes undermined the ownership and pride our people had long felt for our business. So we took a step back and we listened to what our associates were telling us. As a result, last week we announced several changes a $1 billion investment that will kick off a new approach to our jobs. As the chief people officer for our U.S. business, I am so excited about the commitments that we have made. I'm sure many of you followed the news coverage, but let me briefly re recap what we announced. In April, we'll raise the starting wage for all associates to at least $9 per hour. And next February, all existing associates will make at least $10 an hour. Wages made the headline, and we're proud to offer better wages, but we are doing so much more than that. When we first started this work, we focused on scheduling, because for associates, it's about the total paycheck, the hourly rate times the hours worked. We're cur currently piloting a program to give associates more choice in scheduling, either a more flexible or consistent schedule, whichever fits their needs, and plan to roll it chainwide next year. And because it is not about where you start, it's about where you can go. We are introducing a new training program that is designed to give associates the skills that they need to be successful in their jobs and move up. If you start with us, we want your, to make sure that your next job isn't entry level as well, whether that job is at Walmart or somewhere else. The training program which we call Pathways, which after sitting here today I've learned is not that creative of a name, <laughs> will provide transparency to possible career paths, teach associates about the retail business model, explain the why behind the tasks that they are asked to do, and give them a chance to develop those soft skills that are so important to success in life. And along the way, we'll show them how their efforts can directly impact their pay. Starting in February, new associates will be hired at $9 an hour 
go through pathways for the first six months, and then upon successful completion, be paid $10 per hour. Ultimately, we want the skills that they learn to be transferable. Our goal is for every associate to be better off for having worked at Walmart. 20% of our associates are young people, ages 16 to 24, and we want the training and experience that they receive from us to provide the foundation they need for a successful career. One of the possible paths that an entry-level associate can choose upon completion of Pathways is to be an hourly supervisor. This summer, we'll add even more hourly supervisor positions and make sure the associates who run complex parts of our business and supervise others are make, paid at least $13 an hour, and next year we'll raise that to $15 an hour. We've made some enhancements to our benefits as well. We offer health care and discounts on education, and our 401k policy allows associates to contribute on day one of their employment and have up to a 6% match on their contributions after their first year. Full-time associates get paid sick leave, paid vacations, and paid personal days now. But one of the things that associates told us they wanted was to be able to use their sick leave earlier, and next year we'll make that possible. As you know, the road to opportunity is a journey. For us, it, became, it started 52 years ago when Sam Walton opened his first store. And last week was an important milestone in reaffirming his commitment to the American dream. All of these changes won't happen overnight, but most will be implemented within the next year. Having been part of this work since the beginning, it was interesting to watch the news coverage following our announcement. There was lots of speculation about why we did what we did. I can tell you that we made this decision because we believed it was what was best for our associates and right for our customers. Our associates agree. As you might imagine, our CEO got a lot of email from associates um, in response to the announcement we made, and I wanted to share one of them with you today. This is from Sarah, who's a store manager in North Carolina. She says, Dear Mr. McMillan, I have been with this company for 26 years, and I have never been more proud than I am today because of the decision to invest back in our associates. I have no idea what you were announcing this morning. I gathered my team and personnel, and while we were waiting for you to come on, one of my assistant managers pulled up the news announcement on his phone and passed it to me. As I was silently reading it, the tears started and I could not stop. My associates noticed and asked what was wrong. All I could say was, you are all about to get very good news. Everyone cheered and clapped, and there were more tears besides mine when you made that announcement. They were very optimistic and excited yesterday after the YBM meeting, and they are really pumped up now. They are very proud of their company, and I am too. We can now attract better, more qualified applicants. Our associates will take more ownership. Our customers will have a better shopping experience, and our sales will increase because our associates will have more buying power. Wow, thank you, thank you. As Sarah said, we believe that if we invest in our associates, they'll invest in our customers by creating a clean, fast, and friendly shopping experience. And if our customers like the shopping experience that they receive from us, they'll keep coming back. And every time they shop with us, they save money. The money they save helps fund the American dream, money in their pockets to pay for college, save for a house, or take a vacation. And we know that through our size and scale, we could have a tremendous impact on our associates, our customers, and our communities. And in the spirit of making an impact, last week the Walmart Foundation also announced a $100 million commitment over five years to increase the economic mobility of entry-level workers. We announced the first round of grantees here earlier today. We are proud to be working with them and with you to better train and advance the 15 million U.S. workers in retail and adjacent sectors. For them to succeed, we must unlock their potential. For America to succeed, we must unlock their potential. I appreciate the opportunity to be with you today and share what we are doing to create opportunity. Each of us here has the ability to advance the cause. This is not a Walmart issue or an Opportunity Nation issue. It is an American issue. The time to move is now. Thank you, and please spread the word about our jobs. We are always hiring. Thank you.